The Chamber of Industry and Commerce has a new board of directors for 2022-2023. Michael Davis was elected president of the chamber, taking over from Giselle Matthews, who was elected in 2020 at one of the most challenging periods in the history of businesses in St. Kitts and Nevis. The new chamber board was elected on Thursday at the chamber's annual general meeting held at the St. Kitts Marriott Resort. At the end of the election, the new president shared his vision for the chamber as the business community seeks to recover from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, we're affected and those that continues to be affected. Um, the hope is that we continue to see the light at the end of the tunnel and all things being equal, that we continue to see some improvement in the en economic environment. And um, much of what we are doing as a chamber is to see how best we can provide the level of service to our members um, to assist in their, in, their, in their growth, in their respective growth. Um, so one of the first initiatives that we have looked at is the expansion of the services that we're offering to the Nevis uh, business community um, by the opening of the business center. And that is significantly geared towards um, assisting in the growth and stimulation of our um, SME businesses. Much persons need those that help at this point in time to ensure that they can build within their uh, within their, their their businesses the level of resilience needed um, by ensuring that they have um, solid business advice, solid accounting practices um, to assist them in building the, re the, the resolve needed to ensure that they stay afloat. Immediate past president Giselle Matthews, in her address, spoke of partnerships for development reminding the audience of the Chamber's purpose. She recalled the past two years of her tenure, which was filled with navigating the challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. Evidence of our advocacy was our collaboration with the government of St. Kitts and Nevis via the SKN Liaison Committee being launched to reopen the stayover passengers and the cruise industry. The provision of business support systems, entrepreneurship and advisory services to our MSMEs directly and indirectly through our development partners and embassies. Our recent engagement with the Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of International Trade, Industry, Commerce, and Consumer Affairs and Labor on the Supply Chain Working Group to mitigate the impacts of the global supply chain challenges, bottlenecks on the food supplies, and price on consumer goods to bring some relief to households. This work is obviously ongoing. Further, the Chamber has been in active discussion with our regional development partners to commence training and export readiness for manufacturers and agro-processors immersed in the production of special, specialty foods and beverages in March 2022, while similar, simultaneously working with our ambassadors and high commissions to facilitate overseas markets and inward investment opportunities for these small entrepreneurs. The new chamber board comprises President Michael Davis, Vice President Trevor Blake, immediate past President Giselle Matthews, Merlita Percival, and Kevin Hope are directors making up the executive branch of the chamber. Other directors, Sonia Parry, Natalie John, Cara Daly, Patricia Walters, Kevin Thompson, Steve Tyson, who is the chairperson of the Nevis division, Donald Thompson, and Kevin Taylor, who is the chairperson of the manufacturing division. 